Hello, hello, hello everyone. Hi, welcome. Nice to see you. Welcome to this channel. Welcome to this video. Welcome to beautiful people. My name is Bethy and it's so nice to see you. So you might notice it's been a while since I posted on this channel and I apologize for that. I really, really do. Um, right after making the first video of beautiful people, um, I actually moved. Um, from December to January, I just was packing up from one apartment, trying to transport everything to another. Um, and then school also began in January and I work full time. So the time in general, I became, it became very limited for me, but I am here right now to provide another story of beautiful people just for you. And I hope you enjoy so, it. So today, I decided to focus on a story that has been on my heart for the past couple years and I wanted to tell it in this video. You might know this person, he is fairly well known. I don't know if you've heard him on the news or seen him on TV or read any reports about him, um, but he's well known for one of the, the things that he's doing in our world today and his name is Justin Wren. He is a MMA fighter, but that's not the thing I'm focusing on. I'm focusing on the philanthropy, I guess that's the word, that he is doing for these people in a specific country. Anyway, Justin Wren is an MMA fighter, also known as the Big Pygmy, and there is a reason why he's known as that, and I will explain it soon. But um, in his MMA career, let me begin with this. In his MMA career, he was definitely noticed for his noted for his unique fighting skills, and I didn't do a lot of research on that, so if you want to do that yourself, go ahead. But I do know that while he was battling in the ring, Outside of that, he is having his own personal battles of addiction and depression that came to the point where he decided he wanted to take a break and he wanted to refocus his faith on God. And from there, he felt God was leading him to help the Mabuti people, the Mabuti Pygmy people of Congo. So Congo, I'm going to first say this, is actually the central heart country of Africa. If you look at a, a map of Africa, Congo is directly in the center. You can't miss it. You cannot miss it. <laughs> so anyway, uh, Justin Ryan actually felt that God was leading him to Congo to help these pygmies. And, and why? So the pygmy people he discovered were actually bullied by the surrounding surrounding groups of people and surrounding tribes and were being enslaved. And how they were being enslaved, I'm going to first say they weren't captured and forcefully owned. They were actually more forced to do labor and work and, and how they were paid. They were paid, but how they were paid were, would be in scraps of clothes, scraps of food. In one instance, there was a woman that was actually paid in an animal skin and not as clothing, but as food. And you can read about that actually in one of the reports I will be posting in the description. And so, with this mistreatment of people, Justin Wren wanted to make a difference. I also want to note that actually many of these people, when they were sick, were actually rejected from local hospitals and from local doctors for medical treatment. And many did die, sadly. There is also a story in one of the reports, too, about it, and, and it, made, it made me cry. Um, but with this mistreatment of people, who should be treated that way? Who, sh who should ever be treated that way. It's against human rights in general. And he wanted to make a difference. He wanted to, to help these people. He started going on several trips back and forth from the US to Congo. And on one of his trips, he actually stayed there for a full year and lived as one of them, hence becoming the giant pygmy, the big pygmy. He lived in their huts. He slept on their ground floors. Now their floors are dirt. And he, he lived to be a pygmy. Now the people grew to really, really appreciate him and grew to love him, that they gave him a name that I don't recall off the top of my head, but I will post it in the description below. And it basically translated into English, the one who loves us. And, and they saw him as someone that came to help them while they were being forgotten by the rest of the world. Now, Justin Wren, during that time, decided to kind of focus on a way to have these people support themselves so that they can survive without having the surrounding tribes 
come in and 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 make their their make their goal to thrive so very very difficult so in doing so he has been able to raise donations to help give these people their own land of over 3,000 acres and in do and while doing that these people are learning a ways and learning agricultural ways where they can farm that land and provide themselves with food with food for them and their and their, and their children and for future generations so that they can thrive without the surrounding pressure. I love the story very, very much because I think it's something that we can all apply to our own lives. Justin Wren saw these people as someone that, as people that couldn't speak for themselves and now he is the voice for them. And I think how we can apply the story to our own lives is that we can be the voice for people out there that can't speak for themselves. If you're a, a high school student or any type of student in school and you see someone being bullied, stick up for them. Don't, don't be that passerby. Be that voice to stand up for them. Be the person to stand out. Don't be afraid. Do it. So... Justin Wren since then has gone back to fighting MMA, but he sees his fight not only as, as something for himself, for his career, but he sees it as a way where he can bring awareness of these people. Now below in the description I have sources of, of his story, of, and most of them, I, one of them is a news report, and one of them actually comes from the site where you can give a donation, and I encourage you to do so. Um, so if you feel led to, feel free. If you don't, don't feel pressured to do so. But it's there. Um, you can also read about his story and I, I would greatly love you to. He also has a book out. I will give the title of that book in the description. Um, I don't have it on my head. I, I kind of I have short-term memory loss. I'm like Dory from... <laughs> I'm like Dory from um, Finding Nemo. But anyway, I will post that stuff in the description below. And I definitely encourage you to check out the story, check out the people, and if you feel led, please donate. Um, and there you go. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I definitely go out there and stand up for other people in the world and be the voice. So God bless. Have a good day. And um, remember that you are beautiful and have a wonderful and beautiful day.